You know, B was playing a little bit of Aegis earlier. And he said he was having a good time, so. I don't see it. I mean, yeah, I mean, they also have a lot less, tr I think they honestly have less trouble recovering than Ray. Um, they have a lot more mix-ups. Like, it's, they can go, like, underneath, like, very far, and then also they don't get, like, chefed by counters. Because, uh... Pyra definitely doesn't, because the second half of her uh, up B doesn't have a hitbox. Which is why a lot of people just recover with Pyra, especially since it, it goes both higher and it snaps very well. Yes, definitely. Yeah. They get off what? No. Yeah, no. Lucina doesn't have a fun time getting off ledge. And Zelda, obviously not. She's like one of the... She's probably one of the worst characters in the game at getting off ledge. Yes. Oh, I kind of want... That, that should have been a way better punish than that. Zelda neutral B on shield is very bad. You just F smash that. Uh oh no. Zelda, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, B said he's not gonna edge guard tonight and only ledge trap, so. That's what he's been really doing. Like, even against um, uh, Alchemy, like, Link, like, you can just jump off counter or swing against Link, but he was just opting for ledge traps, so. Just keeping all the aspects of the game sharp. Uh, I think he should. It is, but I think he should practice it, Aegis. This is a free bracket. I, I think this is the best time to try it. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I think if anything, if he was going to break that promise, he would break it if like he was down two games. So, like, you can at least get a game in, like, playing neutral Aegis versus Lucina. Yeah, there was a few times he just kind of went for Hail Marys. Like, there was a up B and neutral, and then there was a bunch of uh, neutral B. And B just wasn't punishing it as hard as he could have been. And, oh. Oh, jeez. There's a sweet spot. Good DI, but still sweet spot. That's just devastating. That's so much damage. <laughs> yep. That's like the that's like the recurring thing again with, with all the characters he plays. Uh, Zelda, Aegis, Joker. I don't know who else. Sora. Yep. That that checks out. I mean, yeah.
And Zelda cannot land. And Lucina doesn't have, like, the frame data to be like, oh, if you... I mean, she does, but only against, like, very bad air dodges, but... No matter what, Zelda air dodges, Lucina's just gonna, like, do another move and kill her. I think I misspoke. I meant to say Lucina can catch air dodges very well. Yeah. And, and more often than not, she can swing again. Like, she has the recovery to swing again. She has... You know the resources to do it whereas some characters like can only swing once and then have to like retreat to wherever they are <laughs> i facepalm every time a, a f smash land you just have to overshoot which is like really hard to do Well, that, I mean, yeah, that's how Zelda, like, gets conditioning. It's like, you want, like, you want them to be spacing things, or, like, p people want to space stuff against you so they so you can't punish things out of shield, but then you uh, run back F-Smash. Fire Emblem there is, is kind of tough to deal with. Just, like, the double hit of it. Hmm. Yeah, that was almost it. Oh man, that killed straight up. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of characters that can just like hit like right between uh like Nair hits. She's like sitting there, yeah. Like, Roy's, he's, like, kind of moving around a lot. I mean, I have seen people do it. It's definitely harder. One, one here. This is one of your semis? Who's on the other side? Doucette and you. No, Doucette lost early. And then... Oh, so you are you already played Winner's Enemies. This is the other side of Winner's Enemies. So you're waiting in Winner's Finals. Yep. Zelda again. Yep. This is what? Sorry. Yeah, I mean... Apparently, I've heard that Lucina can edgeguard Zelda, but, like, you don't really want to. Yeah. I mean, if you catch her jump, she's probably going to die. Like, the teleport goes really far, but if you hit her, like, when she needs to use the jump, then it's not going to work. Yeah, Zelda's very good at just calling out, like, large movements, where it's like, oh, you jump straight up, I have a nice little up air for that. Or like, oh, you're gonna come right at me? Take this F-Smash. Take Phantom. All that stuff. Nair? Maybe with this much rage. Uh, what what height? Was he at the bottom? Oh, that would have killed. I think that would have killed. He got the sweet spot. Now it won't. No rage, but... Nah, good DI. There is apparently a way to get the sour spot and also get, like, really good DI. But it's like... Ah... Uh, wasn't confident in the Nair 1F smash. Tries to go for a read for the air dodge in. He got me with that earlier, but... Yeah, that needs to be remedied, like, ASAP. Because a lot of times you get a lot of the damage from... It's the most threatening part about Zelda in general. 
It's just like being on ledge against her. Jump, ledge hang. Uh, you can like use it to get certain get certain getups. Whiff the punish. I think B's getting a little impatient here, which is crazy because he's winning. No, I totally understand. Like, you get a little confident, but, like... Like, he started going for, like, the, the dare on trying to catch the teleport, and, like, I get it. Like, it's 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 definitely a thing you can do, but... Oh, it's very good, but I'm saying he don't need to do that. Like, it, it kind of, like, dampens your ledge trap because it, it has lag enough that Zelda might be able to do something because, because of that. Green Hill Zone. Huh? Terry? You don't want to go, Terry. PT, I guess. I don't know. I, I wouldn't go Mario. I mean, yeah, you could try something. Like, it's a free bracket. You're in winner's finals, best of five. You can try whatever you want. Uh, if, you, if you're just trying to win, I'd say go PT. Min Min. Nah, don't, don't go Min Min. Timing's a little odd. Uh, not really as much in this game. Uh, Bowser used to. Oh! It's not that the timing's different, it's just the animation can be different. Like, Bowser's is like three frames different than everyone else's, so it's not like that much to notice, but like, he gets up so fast, and then all the iframes are when he's just standing there. And I think Zelda has something similar. It, it's so good. Just up tilting with the boys. All right, Daryl just tried to do Phantom out of hit stun, like like while B was dancing blading him. Rust? I don't know, but like. I, I personally think you should space it so that it goes a little bit... Jesus. Oh! Ah, no, 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 no. No. Alright, so... Yeah. Uh, so, Daryl, if you're watching this back, uh, you, you could have hit B through that entire, like... When he air dodged, he's just falling and can't do anything. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, everyone does that. I don't know why. But, um... Yeah, that is true. That is honestly very true. But, um, uh, as I was saying, Daryl, you know, I know you want to, like, learn edge guarding a little better. But, um, Daryl is indeed scrapping, but... Definitely, if you see the air dodge, hit him before. That's very cool, very cool. That's game five. Very cool, very cool. Uh, yes. Yeah. So for game five, um, just make sure you punish air dodge lag rather than waiting for the up B. Because that was just like, that was a free kill. You took his jump, he had the air dodge, he couldn't do anything. Uh, until like he was down below you, so definitely just hit him. Like even Sour Spot 
like lightning kick probably will kill him. Yikes. So B Yeah, but Lucina, I don't know. Yeah, if, if you're like just like falling with Nair, because you know Roy can do both, you know, rise and fall with it. But being able to just like fall, falling Nair, very very good to ledge trap. Yep. What? Phantom? Oh. It's like nine, minus nine, minus ten. Alright. Uh, but yeah, no, it is big enough to be safe, like, on the edges, but like... Uh, like, you can feasibly get it with an outer shield option. Not always shield grab, but... Most characters will have an outer shield option that can hit it. Oh, jeez. 95. I want to know when that up tilt hit. Or like how... Don't SD. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> Stuck in Trump! No! Pick an option! Buffer something! Please, man! I mean, Daryl came back for the first stock, like, SDing around, like, 0%, so... It's possible. Boom. Yeah. Also, if you start bending it, like, you can't bend it the other way. So, like, whatever you see, you just do the opposite. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Mr. be taking that 3 2, but really good showing from uh, CBK. Uh, definitely had a really good thing going. Uh, just SD'd twice. Not not twice this game, but twice in the whole set. Uh, 